Let's now shift uh, shift gears here to. Th- oh, let me make sure the volume is up. Wouldn't want to miss this opportunity. Working? Your first student of the game dance of the year. Oh, for Christ. Float ahead, Doctor Kyle. I freaking love it. It's so good. He talks over the fucking dance, Jim. He's so excited about the dance that he's fake jerking people off, and he's still. Well, fucking- I mean, you know that's nice. we we just have to deal with it. It's also it's also Jim's Jim's favorite favorite president. Favorite president. Jesus Christ. So, yeah, something like that. And Matt I'm not, I'm not you, EJ. I'm not you. <laughs> um, all right, let's take a look. Look right, and remember, look. To the right side of the screen first, EJ, who was your bottom five? All right, for the podcast listeners, we got 32, the Patriots, 31, the Panthers, 30, Dolphins, 29, Titans, and 28, new, newbie in the list now, the Browns. Um, you, Well, you should have had the Browns there before. Thank okay. you. Well, we, can, we, we can't fix last week, though. We, we move, Deshaun we move Watson, forward. comeback player of the year. Hey, Jim, hey, hey, Jim, guess what? We move forward. Thank you. Well, we're trying to, but some people want to keep moving us backwards. Um, <laughs> this guy, he's also trying to conveniently realize once again how right I was about his Jags 32 uh, placement being absolutely stupid, but that's okay. Uh, if Brown, Brown should be lower. Okay. Um, lower than the Titans? Lower than the Dolphins? Lower than how far low? So definitely uh, lower than the Dolphins. Yeah, I think they should be. I think they should be in the bottom two. Okay. Okay. That that team that team is bad, Oof. and they are giving up. It, it looks like they are giving up on a lot of things. Um, Michael, what's wrong? They can't they can't make a quarterback change because they're uh, in close. To, well, what was at one point record contract numbers with him? Mm-hmm. It, uh, yeah, you have a coach that's handcuffed to a quarterback that is awful and nowhere near his twenty twenty form. Staring at EJ. Um, calm down, calm down, Jim. Yeah, Super yeah. Bowl contenders. Woo! <laughs> quick sidebar, uh, though, Jim, real quick. Yeah. Should the Browns bench him? Yes, they should. Jameis they Winston won't. gives him a better shot of winning. Mm. Yeah, I, they, they absolutely should. I, I think Watson is one hundred percent cooked. Whether it's whether it's physical, mental, he can't handle the pressure of the environment that he created. Right. Um. All of the above, he's he's done. There's no there's no recovery from this. Yeah, I mean, I reported great. it on this show. I think first when he first came out to booze in Jacksonville of all places when I covered the preseason game at Everbank Stadium two off seasons ago, and he was affected. I could tell from all the way up in the press box. As dumb as it sounds, yes, I could. I could tell. Embrace the yeah. heel, buddy. Embrace the heel. Didn't do that. Apparently he's. I don't know that he's capable of doing that, EJ. It's too late now. Ch- sure. So uh, anyway, Matt, any problem with my top, my bottom five? Not with uh, beyond the Browns being too high. Let's say that's it. Are we rewarding uh, the Dolphins for the uh, insignificant win? Is that why they're, they're rewarding? They're still the same spot they were like last week. They didn't okay. move. And right. Well, they that because they're bad. They're, they, they, yeah, they, I mean, they're still on the bottom in my bottom five, but yeah, I don't think they're worse than the Browns. Yeah, and they they have the injury excuse, right? That's true. Yeah, the Browns yeah, that's don't. Fair. Yeah, that's fair, isn't it, Matt? We get to it back in two weeks, I think. Allegedly, I, I think uh, for what for what seven snaps till he gets the next concussion. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah exactly. then we're back to Skylar Thompson. By the oh, way, yeah. Kevin, make sure you get mad at him and wish he falls out of a chair. All I say stated was a fact, anyways. But yeah. um <laughs> Devin, I can't wait for Kyle to fall off the chair one of these weeks. <laughs> I will die laughing. It's it's the previous comment too. I he, he, it, he's like, so goddamn what, which comment was it? Which <laughs> he, he says I made a Tua comment. All I did was say was that Josh Allen's concussion situation wasn't Tua bad, which is a fact. Damn. Yeah, right. Like we're not. It's not making fun of him. It's it's a reality. You know, I, I make fun of Tom Brady for a lot of things, but because I call the hitting the quarterback below the legs the Brady rule doesn't mean I'm disrespecting Tom Brady. Hey, hey Kyle, be nice. Two, Dolphins go going through right now. Be nice, bro. 
Thank I you. had to write the tanking for two a year. This ain't shit, okay? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, EJ, give us your top 10. Top 10, here we go. Number 10, the Buccaneers. Nine, the Packers. Eight, the Niners. Seven, the Bills. Six, Commanders. Five, Texans. Four, Lions. Three, Ravens. Two, Vikings. One, Chiefs. Top four still saves last week. All right, who wants to go at it first? Michael? See that face? <laughs> Sell me the Buccaneers at 10. So last week they were, I believe, eight. And they um, lost. Yeah, they lost. They lost. I know. Um, and, and and honestly, they gave it against Atlanta. They should have won that Two, game. Eight, that, that, that's five hundred yeah. yard throwing thug. Yeah, it's they game gave that game away, dude. The Falcons should is- be ten. Period. Point blank. End of story. You blew it. You just admitted it on the air. Thank you. Carry okay, on. Okay, Kyle. Let me ask a question. Who? Okay, if not them at ten, who? I just literally fucking said it, asshat. What'd you say? Panel? Uh, he said, said the, Falcons. the Atlanta Falcons. No, fuck but, no. I mean, buddy, hold on. You're saying you're fuck no. I'm the 49ers that. at eight? Hey, thank you. That, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, no, the I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing the long game on Niners, man. But if, if, if they lose buddy, on Thursday, championship I'm pedigree, my ass. ass. <laughs> this is your p- power rankings for the week. You can put them Crash. back in the top ten when but, they start but, but, winning but, but, but games. Long term also plays a factor in this too. Also, like I said, we know you, you vaulted the Ravens from unranked. Long term, they're not going to have Christian McCaffrey back for the long term. Like, what are we doing here? The, the back of the bad though. It was a Jordan. Who's name? Jordan. Uh... That'd be Jordan Mason. Glad Thank you know. You. The, glad you know yeah. their team. You have them at eight. Oh, your power so, rankings. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that's the first name, right? It's pretty good. That, that Jordan so and so, he's he's good. <laughs> Michael I mean, Jordan, my guy. If they didn't play the Patriots, they could be one in four right now. Like you understand yeah. that, right? I understand that. No, I don't think you do. I do. <laughs> I agree with you, but you have them at number eight. You in understand the that they're football, like, over over a team reminding the listening audience that you have in the <laughs> NFC title game with your cheesy fucking green toes, <laughs> toes down, down on right? the ground. <laughs> Let me ask a question. If the Niners were at 10, would you be bothered by that? Or should they be in the top 10? I would be bothered by that because they, they should, should be not. in the top 10. Be okay. right. So outside outside of Niners, uh, anything else on this list? And, and the Bucks, well, Kyle had the Bucks probably. I don't though. think, I don't, I, honestly, I don't think the Packers are a top 10 team right now either. Ooh. I'm not going to go there. You and I already had that lightsaber duel uh, burn, which you clearly obviously lost. I'm joking. Um, <laughs> on what? On what? Uh, but the com- here's what I will give you. I will compliment you that you were brave enough to put the commanders this high. You're crazy, but I love the bravery. Uh, um, this is what ex- exactly what I'm talking about. And you buying into the power uh, vacuum. vacuum. Suit, um, and it's great. But in the event that they lose to the Eagles or the Cowboys, I think they play the Eagles first. I'm not sure. I, I expect so. them to be punished. Of course. And, and if they lose to either of those teams. They're getting the benefit of the environment, too, also on top of that. So yeah, I, I'm also lot, kind of confused why you have the Ravens above the Texans. Well, that was that was the case also two weeks ago. Oh, last week as well, too. So where they went from being unranked to being the number three team. So Chiefs Correct. number one would look good to the committee. Right. Last week last week was the big overreaction. The Ravens should not have ever been unranked. I think that's the obvious error here. Okay, let's 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 not go crazy. Um I, I I'll I'll answer the I'll answer your question this way, Matt, because EJ clearly can't coherently debate. Um I don't text- debate, but I conversate. Uh, well you fail is what you do. Pass, pass um, on that. So that being said, by the way, conversate, not you a word. Know it. <laughs> I made I made it up. Um the Texans are flawed, but they still keep to still keep sneaking past teams, right? Uh, EJ made the statement on his show that the Bills are a statement win. I'm not even convinced of that. They needed Mahomesian uh uh and antics to slip in a last minute field goal to beat the Bills with a Josh Allen that went 9 and 30. They're among they have the player on their team that is the most penalized in the NFL and they're among the highest team in penalty yards allowed but they keep winning because they keep playing teams that hand them the fucking chance to win back. The one team that didn't in the form of the Vikings, they got smashed. They should have lost to the Jacksonville Jaguars, for example. Like mm-hmm. 
this is this is why I feel like the Texans should be lower than the Ravens, but apparently there's something in there where because C.J. Stroud, because Stephon Diggs, because Nico Collins, Christ, I don't know, but hubba, 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 money, 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 who does he trust? And apparently I, the Texans. I just feel like we're not punishing trust? the Ravens enough for that loss to the Vegas Raiders. And, well, that's how many weeks ago now? That's but right, too. So, I mean, it, they should have lost to the Bengals. They did so get they, punished, though, that week they, because they when they did. got punished, they got knocked on the top 10 immediately after that as a result. Yes, Ernest, but two weeks later, after beating a team who has one win and a team that's got two wins, you vaulted them to three. God help you if it involved a pass interference, too. Uh, I, I, I guess a team that was unbeaten that we all say oh, Buffalo was, was was the real deal, and then they crushed them. So, yeah. Cool. But the, the Lions are better than them. The Texans are better okay, than them. Okay, okay. The 49ers are better than them. Okay, Michael, hold on. Jo uh, Jim, reveal. Well, hold on, hold on. No, 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 sir. You don't get to just sit here and just push this off because you don't want to have to defend yourself. Eh, eh, ain't happening, Stone Cold. my popcorn? Holy shit. The fact of the matter is, is you sit here and you talk about the Baltimore Ravens, a team that Lamar Demetrius Jackson fumbled the football in overtime, should have lost the game, that their defense did not even show up for. And you're going to sit here and tell me, I trust them more than I trust Man Campbell. And Jared Goff and Amon Ross St. Brown, you've lost your mind. This team is not the Baltimore Ravens. I'll make you a deal, there, buddy. I'll make you a deal, Michael. Three Don't make B. me a deal. Three eight three B. Better. Three eight three. Oh, three eight three B. Jim. Three eight three B. You hit. Look, look. I I Pass. made the mistake of letting you do that one time. <laughs> Two years ago, buddy. One time. It's two been years two years ago, now. That was my mistake. The statute now, of has passed on that, buddy. Shot. Now, no. By the Damn way, it. Vern, I appreciate you tributing to Kimbe Mutumbo as you dunk on EJ Christian. Rest in peace, like, you rejected man. him and scored at the same time. You swatted that bitch so hard off the backboard it went all the way to the other fucking hoop. So the big issues here, obviously, Ray was too high. Niners shouldn't be here. Buck is too high. I'm, I also, I also say I don't. I, I don't necessarily right. think the Bucks are too high. I, I think the Falcons should be above them. Um, and 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 I think with the number ten spot, because that was a, a question that was brought up, um, is I feel like there's you know you again you as we've talked or at least as I've said in years past when doing these is like you have the top you know two three two or three teams you kind of have that middle pocket, and I feel like this year like the the ones that kind of makes sense stop at about seven eight maybe nine but like that number 10 spot right now i felt like i had a, I had a hard time putting a team in there um and and i feel like there could be one of like i don't know five six seven teams that could go into the number 10 spot and i don't think any of them are that deserving it's just the fact that we do the top 10 and the bottom five i right. think again i think this so far this season it would be a hell of a lot easier if we did top five bottom ten um well, because there's there's I feel like the there's worse there's more worse teams than there are good teams but uh, you know we're we're maybe starting to see some of the teams figure it out because no preseason these, these top five I anyway that, I think that 10 spot Jim and and if the, the main reason I don't put together a list is covering and fully writing and going balls to the wall Saturday and Sunday and now I have to pull a top 10 out of my ass okay that's the reason I don't do it let's be honest but that's in fair. my mind when I'm putting it together um, the reason what I typically do with the 10 spot is use it for a team that deserves a reward, which I feel like a 500 yard dawning Calkins team deserves. And in the fact that they beat the Buccaneers, knocking them out just seems poetically too, too perfect this week. That's fair. I mean, I had, I have the, I have the Falcons higher, but, uh, let me bring up, uh, the graphic that has Mike and my, uh, my rankings on them. Uh, we won't necessarily run over them all the way, um, but uh, and I agree with Kyle's point about the ten spot about teams being rewarded, um, which is kind of why I did what I did at ten. If anybody wants to attack it, feel free. I mean, how can I? I'm the one that said my lock would be Bo. Uh, Bo Nix continues the streak, so <laughs> all you got to do is Bo leave. Like, I'm gonna. Like, and, and so, so for the the podcast audience, I have the Broncos at ten. Um, do I think Ooh. the Denver Broncos are the tenth best team in the National Football League currently? I do not. Part of the problem is, as I just kind of said, I don't know who the tenth best team in the National Football League is right now. 
But but I I'm, I look at this Denver team. You know, they they beat a Bucks team that I think is is good. Maybe they're kind of struggling with their identity a little bit. Um, they went into New York on an on a crappy day. I don't know what the New York Jets are, but they 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 won on the road in New York. It was an ugly game, sloppy, rainy, crappy day. They found a way to win there. And I, the Raiders aren't a we're not nobody's pretending the Raiders are a good team, but I feel like the Broncos in the last couple of years would have found ways to somehow lose that game and lose it in embarrassing fashion. And they they kick the shit out of the Raiders. So like I just and I just feel like, you know, you, you have a team that has a, has a really good defense and an offense that is maybe slowly putting pieces together with a quarterback that, you know, rookie quarterback that it that just doesn't know any better, I guess, right now. And, you know, there's not a lot of film on him, so he's he's able to work within his uh, team's offense. So um, they will probably eventually come crashing back down to earth, but but when I look at the, the teams I would have considered there, um, you know, Denver, Green Bay, Seattle, Pittsburgh, Dallas, Chicago, none of those teams, to me, um, I think would have, would beat the Broncos this week, personally. I don't understand why we hate the Packers so much on this panel for those that are other than EJ. I need help. Um, I'll grant they had a rough out to start the game against the Vikings, a team which you both have number one still for some reason. I'm not arguing with you again, Burn. Um, but they, if, if we're to hold it true, that they damn near came back in that game, regardless of whatever defense you do or don't like that should still be held against that team. Um, and then to continue winning, even though I know it was against the Rams, which they struggled, I don't understand. And by the way, winning games with Malik fucking Willis more than once at some point in this NFL season, I don't get why they aren't a top 10 team on all three of these panels. I, I just I can't grasp that. I, I I'll give my thoughts on the Packers. Um, they they beat the Titans, um, and the Colts, uh, with with Malik Willis, which, um, you know, look, Malik Willis ain't gonna uh, you know, scare anybody for a starting job, but the Colts and Titans aren't really gonna scare teams for being a National Football League team right now. Uh -oh. So like it, it, it's you know they they won they won close against the Colts. They beat out a horrible Titans team. That if it weren't for other teams just being worse, I would have the Titans pretty much at the bottom of mine. But they get um, no, they get no they don't they get no balance for doing it with a backup quarterback. Is this what we're doing here? Well, but but my, my but my point is 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 you have only you have only beaten bad teams, uh, and and this week you know again you 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 have your quarterback back, and I think to me, it's 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 based on what the possibility and uh, of expectation was so you go into the playoffs last year you throttle the cowboys you probably should have beaten the niners until you folded in the second half credit to the niners for adjusting and doing what they do but then you sign jordan love to what at the time was the biggest contract but then three other quarterbacks signed contracts um you know so there was there's a lot of hype and hope and talk around this packers team and five games in granted unforeseen injury in, in week one i'm just not seeing it they they can very quickly get into it get back into it whether it be it by them winning and or the broncos buccaneers falcons losing like it, it's it's a very it's a very short window for them to get back in it to me um but th that's why i just and again like when i when i said a minute ago if, if i'm if i have the broncos packers this week i'm probably picking the broncos that's why so I, that's why i have them above Wow. Okay. Well, so what you're giving me is essentially they're at number eleven defense. Is that it? Sure. Like I, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't like to extend it, but they, they are, they are just. So it, to com make a comparison to college football polls, they are others receiving votes. So not ten right. B. Not ten yeah, B, Gemma. Right. There's no ten B here because I'm not an <laughs> asshole. Um, <laughs> but they are, they are others receiving votes. And well, if you were truly doing this like college football, they would be top 10 because they have a quality loss against the Vikings. <laughs> you, you, uh, <laughs> Mike, Mike and Jim, you, you guys weren't impressed with Kansas City's win on Monday night? No. I was. I moved Kansas City up one. Oh, yeah. yeah you have them three last week. That's right. Yeah. I remember he was a home last week. week. That's correct. Right. Okay. No, I, I mean, to be fair, I wasn't impressed with their win. Uh, I mean, we've talked about it on the show. 
that their defense is going to be what gets them there. I gave their defense all the credit in the world last week on the show as I went back and forth with student of the game Kyle Nash on why I didn't have them at number one. The fact of the matter is I still don't think their offense has that many weapons. I don't think their offense is that great. They had an opportunity to put that game away and a receiver that has to play primarily for the rest of the year, Juju Smith-Schuster, found a way to hand the ball to a guy who weighs 355 pounds in the end zone. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a problem. I get it. Travis Michael Kelsey will do his job. Week one as being the number one and the only option they have, he showed out. All the credit in the world. But right now, I think the Minnesota Vikings are the more complete team. I oh, think I, they're I, yeah. I, the, 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 the reason there's a reason why the lead is I'm not going to have the argument again because we're going to say the same shit. And you're Correct. right. And for the second week in a row, you're going to disrespect Chris Jones, and that's unacceptable. Burn. Do better. Uh, no, <laughs> I didn't disrespect him. I said I've I've said here on this show you said defense, every week. You didn't say his name. That's all I'm. saying. Uh -oh. I mean, I also watched Derek Carr throw three footballs running backwards and chucking them over his head like Uncle Rico. But we're going to talk about how great the defense was. I mean, the guy is literally throwing up punts at this point, just trying to <clears throat> not die. Like, um, I, I, right. The Saints like, offensive line was not good on Monday night. Yeah, it, it was the most <laughs> it was the most complete the 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 uh, Chiefs have looked. Correct. Um, and and here's all the year, thing. if not for week one. And um, if, and if the Minnesota Vikings would have lost. I wouldn't have flipped the Lions to one. I would have put the Chiefs at one, and I would have given them the respect that they earned. But the fact of the matter is the Minnesota Vikings did not lose a football game on Sunday or Monday or even Thursday. So at the end of the day, <laughs> I still think that the Minnesota Vikings right now, top to bottom, because they have not been hit by the injury bug, are the best team in football. I do think that there are teams in the 11, 12, 13 range. Uh, your Packers, your Broncos, um, you know, I think – those are teams that are going to that are, can make a run here in this situation because there's going to come a time where the commanders are allegedly going to fall back to earth. The Eagles may wow. not be on this list if they lose another football game without all of their wide receivers. Um, I have Perk Thuggins, the guy who said who uh, this panel has said on countless times cannot win primetime games, cannot yeah. win uh, postseason games. I'm the only one that's defended that guy, and I got him at nine for that reason. I, I wish I would have listened to you this week, Mike, because I would have won against my arch nemesis in a Hold fantasy on. league. I would have had Perk Thuggins in my life. Let's remember, Kirk Coopins is also the name you coined talking Correct. shit. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> but I haven't hid from it. Perk Thuggins, baby. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not that mad at the Vikings. It's a full disclosure thing. And, and yeah, right. I guess the Vikings, and, and, your best defense for the Vikings, you already said there, uh, 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 Burn. It's because it was against the pretender Saints. Though that being said, we're that impressed by a team that's so great they had to fire their coach. But go <laughs> ahead. And but also too, when I when I look at at like Vikings versus Chiefs, if if we're if we're talking about ju just those two teams in in that in that grouping is um, because of the the injury issues and the um inconsistency on the offensive side of the ball sans Patrick Mahomes um I, I like the Vikings defense to to be able to win that matchup um and 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 keep the the Chiefs uh, you know off the board enough that the, the the Vikings offense can go to work and get the job done and beat them so again if I'm what if I have a team that, that it's a tight window between the two I go if these teams played this week who would it be I would pick the Vikings over the Chiefs this week so they're still this my number one this is the first week that that for myself, and I can only speak for myself here, that I'm looking at the Minnesota Vikings. You know, they have the bye week, which is going to be big for them because Aaron Jones is hurt. Yeah, that was yep. their first piece of the injury bug that's really hit them. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously T.J. Hawkinson still being on the, the the pup list and all that stuff, but this was the first real in season loss with the hip injury. And it's the hip that he hurt last year when he was in Green Bay. So it's what are you going to get from guys like Ty Chandler and the rest of the running back room in Minnesota? This was going to be the test for Minnesota. They're mm -hmm. going to play the team in two weeks that I have currently as the number three ranked team on my on my big board. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, the test for the Minnesota Vikings is on October 20th when they play the Detroit Lions. Yeah. Hopefully I'll for them, hopefully for them, Aaron Jones is healthy. Yeah. So that they can go into it full strength, so that if they come out of it, maybe the talk isn't the Minnesota Vikings are pretenders. Maybe it's the Minnesota Vikings are a team that we need to talk about about how they've finally done enough around whomever's playing the position of quarterback to keep them in contention. Or 
how much was Kirk Cousins actually holding them back? Well, how much did Justin Jefferson getting hurt the back half of last year really hold them back also? Mm -hmm. No, I I see your cape, but I I think uh, O'Connell's been there for more than one season, and I don't believe Jefferson was hurt two years ago. No, he was hurt two years ago. Uh, yeah, I can't. 13 uh, or 4 year. Now, I'm not bothered by the Vikings, number one, to be honest. I'm not bothered by it. The only thing I would say, push back on, is the fact that as bad as the Jets were on, on Sunday in London, they were literally the drive away from winning that game. That's as exactly. bad as they look. So, and the Kansas City like, Chiefs have won two games no, no. by a foot and by a, a fluke yeah. pass interference call. It, it happens. It's the National Football one, League. And, okay. and, 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 and again, London, and again I'm, I'm, I'm not mad not like number one. I'm not mad about yeah, it. Yeah, and, and London, London games. Can can tend to get a little bit screwy too because I, I can't remember if I can't remember if the field that they play at if that is if that is the grass field or a temporary turf field. Um, mm-hmm. You know, it's it, it, the, the, those games do kind of sometimes get a little a little funky as well. Again, travel, all of that. There's a, there's a lot of weird stuff that can go into those London games. So if anything, I was more bothered about Chiefs at three last week with, with Jim, but he adjusted this week, obviously. I'm still more bothered about the lack of Packers. I, I still think you have I what it. is is kind of a glaring contradiction um, in that the Vikings are so great, and the only loss on the Packers schedule is the team you have at number one. But they played some bad teams and won. Packers also lost to the Eagles, who aren't in my top ten. Also due to an in- injury, by the way. And same issue Fine. too with the field. The same excuse with the field issue was sure. A, but, massive in Brazil. But again, before uh, uh, before uh, we get too far down the road, and the part everybody mm-hmm. keeps forgetting, forgetting is winning those games with injuries. If we're going to hold injuries against teams so harshly, they need to be rewarded when they win with them. That's just my two cents. I will I will say that if Malik Willis beat a team that isn't currently sitting thirtieth and 27th in my rankings, I would probably have a Packers a little bit higher on my list, personally. I think so, the fact of the matter is is they've beaten basically dog water. And I think at the end of the day, let Jordan Love get healthy, and I, I have no problem putting them on the list right now. But I will tell you that what I've seen from them is not NFC title game contending uh, Green Bay. It's more of a survive get get right and let's see what this looks like in a couple weeks and then i think that's the real grading scale for the green bay packers i mean here's the deal with me and the packers uh in the next four weeks they play the texans and the lions like if 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 you if you can you you know what i mean if you you get right you get healthy you know you you win those games and the other two jacksonville and arizona that you should win um frisky cardinals like and here's the thing, even if you like let's say you lose a close one to Houston, but you win the other two, so you go two and one, you go in and you beat you beat Detroit. Um, you're you you will be in my top ten at that point. Like uh so that they're 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 close. Again, I just I'm my they they probably would have been in there if I didn't reward the Broncos as well. And then well, no, and I get that. And by by the way, to close the contradiction loop here, so everybody sees it clear as day, we're shitting on the Packers, but it was upon that win that the Vikings got that they were placed number one by multiple people on this panel. There's where I have the problem. It's one of the other fellas. You're taking I I I also told you that I that I also love the fact that the prevent defense made that Green Bay Packer game a lot closer than what it was. Because here, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna use I'm gonna hold hold on. Hold on, let me finish. Vikings decision. Hold on. Because I'm going to bring this back to the conversation I had about the San Francisco 49ers who decided to play zero offense and are still somehow in the eight spot in earnest power ranking. <laughs> Guilty They played no offense. The, the, the Cardinals found a way to beat them because they kept playing shit prevent defense and throwing prayers up, but he has them at eight. At the end of the day, if we're going to use the grading scale, you're going to come at me because I sat here and I said that the Minnesota Vikings in the first half were a far superior team than the Green Bay Packers and decided to play the let's go home defense. Um, Then it has to go against teams a la San Francisco because they did the exact same thing and couldn't score the same thing Minnesota couldn't do. They couldn't score in the second half. I've been on EJ's case all season for how he's rewarded the 49ers. That's a good try, 
that means then still you have doubled down on the Vikings being too high. No, I, I, I still, then I said it. I still think they're the, the most complete team in Listen the NFL. Listen back to the tape when it's done, buddy. You totally. I, uh, I, I can't remember where I, because I, I couldn't find my. Uh, well, my it's clear that we I all have. Hold it. on, hold on. <clears throat> where I had the Vikings in week three, but I had them in three in week four. So my the Vikings for me have slowly been working their way to the top, and they've been there last week. So I didn't. I personally, for me, I didn't take them from unranked to number one in one week i'm not ej christian i don't have the ability to jump that high um at my age i'm smart enough to know my body's limits um so it wasn't it wasn't just because they beat the packers that i put them at number one it's i i was been they've been moving up as they've been winning games and you know performing well because they beat the 49ers they beat the packers they, they they've they've won these games against you know, teams that are competitive or uh, allegedly or in the top 10. Or severely limited if you believe Mike's tirade. Or, or, or. Fucking both fellas. It just, hey, or, or it could be, let's penalize the Kansas City Chiefs for escaping. No, no, okay. Yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. I can be sir, just as loud. No, buddy. this is yes. not the right argument. The Chiefs have fucking buddy, nothing to do with this guy. Buddy, you I can, I, I can, I can make whatever argument I want, my guy. On the schedule. When do the Vikings play the Chiefs? When did that happen? When did when did when did the Chiefs escape fucking Los Angeles and barely beat the Chargers after Mahomes had one of his worst games of his career? Maybe he should be penalized for it. Maybe we should stop putting him on this pedestal that he's the greatest of all time. That's the magic thing. Quantum rule. This is also a Marvel movie. What the shit are we doing? Answer the goddamn question. How can a number one team be number one when you're because the number two team cannot fucking put away teams that they should. There's the answer that you don't want to hear. They're not as good as they used to be. Can't put them away. The team they're undefeated. So are the Vikings. They've escaped, Kyle. They've escaped. Don't Admit it. The Admit it. They've escaped. They've escaped four no of their five wins. And by the way, it's escape, not escape. For fuck's sake. So I mean, I mean, we if we're if we're really if we're really gonna go about diction and tone of of words, then we have another conversation to have, and we probably shouldn't be doing a podcast. Be very honest, because at the end of the day, they've escaped. Escaped, escape, escape this, escape okay, that. It doesn't okay, matter. Okay. Is it possible they're, okay. not, they're not as good as they used to be? Is it possible they're putting them okay, on? Hold, a on, hold, on, hold, on. hold on, 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 hold on. Everybody, shut up. Hold on. For me, the Minnesota Vikings, Kyle, okay, have beaten the 49ers by six. They throttled the Texans, who everybody would probably have in their top five. And they are under. They are an undefeated team. Okay, I. You you say the, pro, the you cut the teams down and then you use it to lift the one up. That's where I struggle. I can only say it so many times. If you refuse to see it, I can't help you, fellas. Okay, who who am I cutting? You're using the Packers against me. No, right? it's the Niners who who are then be, being held to task as they don't belong in the top ten because they're so injured. Yet, missing players like they were against the Vikings, that's all cool in the game. I, I don't understand. Okay. I, my, my, the reason the Niners aren't in, in my top ten is because yeah. they're two and three and could very easily be one and four. Agree yeah, with and I'm not mad. I'm not mad at the, the Vikings. Or ch- Sorry. I'm not mad at the tight. Um, Niners. Niners. Thank you. I'm all over the place. I'm not mad at the Niners not being in the top ten. Okay. But the Niners then, a not top 10 team who are injured, which we're supposed to hold against teams, are being used to propel the Vikings in both arguments. Well, again, my my argument for Vikings over Chiefs has to do with the fact that, that I'm looking at a Chiefs team that, you know, was a toe away from potentially losing to the Ravens. Mm-hmm. They were, you know... Uh, a a a one point victory against a Bengals team who has one victory, um, a you know a close win over the Falcons, a a close win uh, over the again the injury riddled uh, Los Angeles Chargers, uh, you know, and then their best e- effort was against uh, a Saints team that apparently played their Super Bowl in Week Two. Um, <laughs> so, like to me, it's it's about what the Chiefs haven't showed me yet. Okay. 
and, is and, there, and, and, and what the Vikings have. Can I add a quick no beating yes. team in the top five? Is there value in because of Chiefs who are who they are, back to basketball champions, that there's value in they're getting everybody's best shot every week? Because to again, me, Chiefs are the Chiefs. To so me, get, I mean, look, they play the Ravens and their schedule, to be honest, they, they've beaten, they've had a part of the hardest schedule in the league so far to five games. Um, Ravens, number three in the list. Granted, again, they barely beat them, but yes. Uh, Ra- not, uh, who else they beat week two? They beat the, the, the Bengals. The Bengals. And they beat I, the Falcons, Bengals, oh, really, Chargers, Saints. So they've beaten two teams in your top ten. They, they, and they only, they only they beat one team that's sub, sub 500. The that's Vikings have beaten three teams in your top Right, but, and, it, and they beat one sub 500 team that's actually like better than the one and four record, in my opinion. It's a defense is fucking terrible. And, and Joe Burrow. Okay, the but. Joe Burrow and the Bengals. Okay, but. They still they, only have one win. You're right. They, agreed, they still agreed. have but, one win. But, but again, you know, if, you, if, you're, if you're using the toughest schedule, the Vikings have beaten three teams in your top 10. The Chiefs have beaten two of them. They beat Niners, Texans. Who was they beat again? Niners, Texans, and Packers. Packers, right? No, again, I'm not me personally. I'm right. not, I'm not right. mad at like, like, right. the, the, like And here's the thing. Um, yes, I, I, I'm sure everybody wants to beat the Chiefs. Um, but to <laughs> me, I don't put stock in the Chiefs won the Super Bowl two years ago. I want to beat them. Two years, no, two years in a row. That's two years ago. Two years in a row. The, 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 the I, I understand that, but. A, you're missing the point. There's no value in 2024 because the 2022 Chiefs were Super Bowl champions. It's not the same team. I see what you're saying. You, you understand? Like, it's it's not even the same team as last year. Like, if you want to say, oh, cool, we beat the defending uh, Super Bowl champions, guess what? I went to a Phillies game earlier this year when the Phillies beat the defending world champion Texas Rangers. How did the Rangers do this year, EJ? Spoiler alert, they didn't go to the playoffs. Right. So, like... <laughs> but- Right. And I'm, here's the thing: I'm not saying the Chiefs aren't going to make the playoffs, but we like putting putting value on a team's worth because of previous seasons. To me, again, this is me answering the question. I don't put that value. I am evaluating the 2024 2025 season and the first five weeks that that, that we are we have been given right all of. All I'm saying is, I, I believe there's some value to that when you're facing Andy Reid, when you're facing Patrick Mahomes, you're facing Chris Jones, and those guys. That, that's the but core why? is still the same. Well, I mean, why? I think everybody wants to win every week. <laughs> I, I, agreed. But. It, while I take your point of view, Jim, where EJ's right is it's different when you hit the field. I don't care who you are, even the water boy for, you know, the damn. Canadian team that's going to play them in a preseason. I know that's not real, but hear me out. Sure. Um, we'll circle that game on the schedule. That's what everybody's best effort week in and week out means. Okay. I don't hold the same stock that EJ does in it. I'm kind of with you that, that it has, so it's overrated. it has value as a tie break, perhaps in the right scenario, but where he's coming from is that it's everybody Every week, whether it's the AFC West or whoever it is, is going to play and do just a little bit more. Okay. Um, that was fun. Any any anything else? I'm afraid to ask. No, no. Um, it sucks. No, I'm kidding. Well, <laughs> I mean, um, if we're just Matt, pointing out, if we're just pointing out facts, Matt, you fall asleep? Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, he's 